Today on The Educated Idiot, what we're going to do, shim out our electrical panel, take care of the boxes we need to get flushed with the OSB. So we've passed our electrical inspection. Uh, we have been able to run the power wire directly from the meter box all the way up and over and into the breaker panel. During the conversation with the local electrical inspector, uh, he recommended a few things that aren't going to stop it from being passed from electrical inspection. Number one, what we want to do is we want to bring this panel out just a little bit. As it sits right now, it is just behind this girt. We're going to have 7 16 ply just on the outside OSB, so it's going to be sheeted in that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull it down, pull it off the wall, and then we're actually going to slide in another one by and that's gonna get it pushed out just enough that uh, we're gonna be able to set this thing back and have it look good once everything's done. So we had our two circuits in. Circuit on the left here goes up and over, and then we've got our three outlets. Uh, recommendation is only one to pass the rough inspection, which we have over here. And the other thing is we need to have a switched light. So switches here bulb up there. What we're doing today, I actually just pulled these off of the studs. Uh, we're going to brace this up so it sits out a little further. That way we've got it flush because I think this outlet or the switch here, I'm sorry, is going to actually stay here and then it's going to be the switched source for power to the light above the overhead. So let's get started on that. All right, to move this electrical panel out, what we're going to first start doing, pull the four screws that hold this thing into place, pull it away from the wall just a little bit, enough to get the one bys that we have cut into place, get it nailed down. Let's get that taken care of. All right, good and sturdy. We've got it buffed out just a little bit to where our 7 16 OSB is gonna come right up to it. And then our cover panel is gonna cover it so we don't have to worry about looking at it any longer. All right, and as you can see, we're checking plumb and level. Everything is good on that front. And then we come out and take a look at it. It is just protruding outside of that curve. So we're gonna have a nice lip to butt up to there and get this thing looking good once we get the spray and insulation done and the OSB on the panels. All right, let's take care of these outlet and switch areas. So how we're gonna make the fillers for this is what we do is we got some scrap cutoffs that we use while we put the girts in around the barn. We're gonna put her up against the top one. Take our pencil, mark the back, take that to the miter saw get that cut down into place. Top one's set in place. So we're gonna take the bottom one, get it roughly lined up. Get that hammered into place. Once you got the two shim pieces in place, what we're going to do is just take our simple framing nailer, run a few down it, get it secured into place. After you've got your two shim pieces in, so we go back to your boxes or your new boxes, line them up with the tabs on the side, a little tap, make sure they're in place, drive the pinning nails in.
shims in place. Both electrical boxes shimmed out, so they're gonna be flush with the OSB once we get that installed. Before we finish up for the day, I wanted to add one more thing to the video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run another circuit from our electrical panel over into our switch outlet boxes. Now we're gonna have both of those placed here. That way we can get lights up as soon as we've got power out here. here for today and the reason why we're gonna run lights during the next video we're gonna put four high bays on one switch and that's gonna be our first switch that we're gonna install so we have light back here the second switch is gonna control the interior high bay lights so we're gonna have eight in total throughout the entire barn so when we're working on something we got plenty of light everybody thanks for watching remember to hit that subscribe button